we are analyzing a game from the top boards in the from the chess kid national festival or slash tournament these are the top players in the section i was in adia kakala against ray garso okay let's look at the game yes the way we are going to look at the game is we're going to go a little bit fast and then try to find mistakes from either of either sides so this is what opening royal plus ray lopez okay yeah, or the italian game remember you saw that there is it's, it's also game? it's also yeah. for italian game knight c3 is not correct but um he can play c3 so far white hasn't made a really a mistake how how about black black also it hasn't made a mistake this is all good yeah this maneuver is black is doing good here so does black have an advantage here so at 10th move right remember the middle game starts so this is the starting of the middle game and we can pause a little and see if that's why who has the advantage it's okay tell what you think far from me i would think maybe i think i'll say white because his queen is more active and he's all in his almost complete with the development i mean so's black mhm mm and he also has more central control actually yeah he does yeah well so black has a bishop pair so white has to capture that bishop to kind of get out of the bishop pair yeah and this is typical typical of rayla pes so this this is unclear there is no advantage yet yeah okay rook b8 yeah we saw this a little bit earlier but i think black hanged upon here you don't have to yeah d4 is a bad move you can directly capture knight into pawn there is nothing stopping knight into pawn and this board turn into an analysis board knight into pawn do you see anything knight pawn into bishop bishop into pawn is protected what yeah. happens if you play d6 not f3 mindset knight c6 yes c6 go forward there's no reason to go backwards and this is a fork he's Family forced to fork. he's forced to capture capture and this pawn is like a th throne in his uh, army if you can get d4 d5 the game is over anyways no distraction um so he could have taken the pawn but he didn't he played d4 d6 now can you take the pawn is the pawn hanging still mommy no the d6 pawn can it it's not hang i mean d d into d into knight into there are three pieces coming on to d5 so that's not he'll get one pawn back okay so okay is this a good one? this one i'll wait for you to tell me I don't think it's a good move because one I don't see how he if he's planning to do kingside attack I thought I don't think that's a good idea and two why is he moving his knight to the center like side or that side You told me all strategy I want you to think more simple he takes d5 Bishop takes h4 Yep see simple sometimes simple things you had to first finish off he just hang the knight and there's nothing else to see here Wait, but why one again? Why ten to one again? Black one again? Yeah. 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 Well, now what is she doing? Converting the advantage. Yep, that's it. Okay, you don't have to see anymore. Yeah. Okay, so this is the second board on the same section. So the person who is white actually won the tournament. Okay, <laughs> so white e four, e five, knight f three, knight c six. Where the pause? So many people play this. Yeah. Okay. 
stop but oh no i saw that one usually people don't capture it i don't think he knows why hmm. okay okay these three yeah this is a strange why is he playing all this pawn moves without actually castling <laughs> don't say that he won the tournament and this is a recorded he might see it too. okay finally he did the castling okay do you know this is actually a, a good move why is this a good move I think it's because for and this person I think why it was like an opening game it's open game and it's opening up position why is he opening the position because he the his white relaxed king has a castle yes so he's aiming to get that king in the center good yeah i don't like this 1984 it seems like you get a tempo but pawn capturing with the other pawn is is better so that you have the center control in b6 okay okay so he's just opening up okay can he capture the pawn no why what happens queen takes e5 and then queen takes h8 okay this okay oh okay oh nothing to see here okay yeah he just hang a few pieces in a row continue. yeah so continue yeah so this is round number 2 um uh, white is adhya and black is anvay let's see what happens e4 e6 what opening is this don't look at that french <laughs> okay jaden told me he plays french for black yeah okay white is playing very normal chess and he's anything that he can capture he's capturing yeah she oh, oh white is she okay i see she doesn't she hasn't prepared anything for french she doesn't know anything about it even if i don't know i don't know i think about french i wouldn't take that c5 on yeah because black pieces down up with the tempo yeah okay you know why they played a f5 move what is the threat <laughs> Bold. and getting the right but she played h3 is do you think that's a better, good move or is there a better one you can do and i want you to think mindset so white should have first played knight b3 take a tempo on the bishop if he goes here of course you catch you exchange it or you can go back or to b6 either of those don't matter but then you play bishop d3 what will happen if they trap the pieces now bishop takes G6. And then in here, the has, and we also get push H4 with a tempo. So what is this mindset? You are not responding to your opponent's threats. You are putting a bigger threat. If opponent threats you, you are not always responding. It's good that you see what they played it for, but the higher level thinking is you are making a bigger threat or doing taking care of the. threats with tactics okay h3 which is an easy move to play and they played it f4 and now this bishop is like very very bad bishop f2 i hope okay yeah but black played correctly bishop d6 not bishop d6 right now but first double zero and then maybe bishop d6 or queen f6 well white has open king yeah they should cancel first what okay why did they play that I just say cancel on the whole game. Okay, they forgot. Oh my God. Okay. Guess now what to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's just moving pieces front and backwards. Okay. The white is also doing the similar thing. Okay. What? Okay. Finally, something. The what? pieces. What? Oh, oh, was that pawn? Huh? Was it pawn? Okay. That was a threat. Black white put put a threat here. This is called like a Pavla threat. Remember, you game on the last game like that. She did the same thing. She was hoping he doesn't know what is castling, and he doesn't know what is castling. Why? How is he so good? 
There's no class line. I'm just kidding. I don't know what whether he there or not. Okay. Now, yeah. Do you think you can take the night? Please answer yes. No. Yes, no. you can take the night. How? The queers. You can take the night. Thank you. Tell me I'm wrong. You can take the night. You are wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Why? You can take the night. The queen is hanging on V5. Why do would I say that? Do you think I didn't see that? Again, mindset. Mindset. Night E6. But, but that's really just the same. It's just a trade. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad trade. Knight into d4, bishop into b5, knight check, king moves, knight into, king into. I mean, I'm not saying, oh, actually, this is. Yeah, king at a pawn. Yeah, this yeah. is actually good. Now you get this bishop too. So you are actually, this is a, this is a good thing. Oh, hopefully she did it. Knight d4, no, queen d3. Okay. Knight into c2, oh my god, okay. Oh. Okay. Take the rook. Ah, take the rook actually. Take yeah. the rook. <laughs> take the rook. Yeah, take the rook and it would have been a hard game for white. It's chain down. Yeah, take the rook, rook into knight into queen. Uh, oh no, actually rook into bishop, king into and bishop into knight. So he gets two, two pieces. Wait, can you... Move forward. I want to see how is it again at the end of that position. Which one d3? What's saying? No, black is winning. Oh, it is two exchange, two exchanges up. Okay, I was wrong actually. You're right. Yeah. No, I'm glad you corrected me. Yeah, this is two exchanges up, and this bishop. If if only black can get g5 and bury this bishop, he'll be fine. And all he has to do is get his rook sack too. And maybe trade off his two pieces. Yeah. Okay. So black had a chance in this game. Bishop f5. <laughs> Queen d2. Total miss. Okay. Oh, okay. They are doing a defense for it. But tell me one reason why this game, black lost this game. Only one reason. I don't want more than that. He's moving pieces no. all around. One reason. Only one reason. He's. Finding defenses. Maybe there is a defense. He maybe there. does not have the good mindset. No. What? He did not castle. Oh. He had chance to castle so many times here. He refused to castle. Like he's moving the pieces about front and back every time. He just had to castle. Castle. Now he, now it's lost. Yeah. Okay, anyways, bishop into f4. Okay, so now king d7, bishop into f4 because there is bishop in trap. Now everything is hanging. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6. So we insert his black here, d4. This is called the pelican defense. Oh, yeah. Knight f6, knight c3. E5, yeah, this is Pelican. He has to play. I played something really similar to this, except that I played D6 instead of Knight C6. Okay, play D6 now. Bishop C4. Wait, wait. Yeah, six. Oh, okay. Now tell me the tactic. Without looking at it. B5, B4. Yep. B5. Okay, but. It's not as simple because black, white also has some threats. Knight in two. Knight in two. I'm so glad this game was an end already. Oh. Okay. Why is why b3? What? Why b3? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's not a good move. He, what should he do in this position without b3? Same lesson as before. I think we should put pressure like on a C7. Oh, castle, 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 cast
Okay. He white castle he really wanted to get this bishop develop this side. I don't know why. Is he chipped here? Oh no, he's double. Okay. Hmm, actually white is still advantageous. This position is good. Big four. Mm, castle first, castle first. Castle. Okay, he's going to he's going to fall into some trap now. Okay, finally castled. It's set by me. Hmm. Okay, actually white is not that bad. Oh, very good. Oh. Wow. I still prefer white's position here. Okay, now the pawn grabbing starts. Oh, what? White played so good. That's correct. Wow. Wow. Now, knight into b5. Knight into b5 and fourth threat. He can't capture because his king will be standard in the center. What? He did that? Okay. Yeah, then I mean, I'm just wondering how he'll, he'll lose. Okay. Ah! Ah! He lost. No. So, do you, do you see why he lost? Is there a good move? Come on. Five seconds happened. What will you play for black? Oh! Queen takes e5, bishop mm. takes e5. Yummy knight don't be five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should have yeah. just captured with the yeah, bishop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might have captured with the bishop yeah, yeah, or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rook into bishop. King into. No, that's not working. He can just come knight c3 or a3. A3 is fine to support this pawn. I think it's a she. Okay. I see. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Hang. Aren't you seeing any of Colin's games? So here I'm continuing because it's not easy for black to win this game. There are still some threats. And there are two past pawns here. Uh, it's pretty dangerous. Yeah. But and then he just lost the pot majority on... Okay. Yeah. I think now he'll win. Yeah. He's just converting the advantage. Okay. Yeah. That will the pawn will die. And Okay, so we saw the first uh, couple of rounds and four games in all of them opponents were hanging pieces and the top seeds were winning. So let's see if in the third and fourth rounds if things have gotten better and interesting in the next video.